so hard to get a tux in all this. Hey! Did you get the new iOS 13 update? Uh, that update came out like six months ago. What? Yeah, I don't know why you're just finding out about this. Well, tell me about it. I want to know if I should get it or not. So, you want my review? Six months later, when iOS 14 is literally just about to come out. Yeah, duh. What, are you using an old phone? No, don't, don't start. Well, let's go. Okay, so hey guys, Shaman Crossfield here. And before you even say yes, yes, I know iOS 13 has been out for more than six months, but in reality, I just, I just wanted a spicy title. So I've been using iOS 13 on my iPhone 8 Plus uh, since its release back in September 2019 and since then here are my thoughts on what it's been like using iOS 13 on my iPhone 8 Plus from September to now. And let's just call it six months later. Okay, so right off the bat iOS 13, in my experience, hasn't had many glitches. It's mostly been fast and smooth and has had a really intuitive UI as I expected when I just started using uh, an iOS device. Uh, the iPhone 8 Plus that I have has not really experienced very major glitches and I've heard other people who I know tell me about that as well. In my own experience though, I haven't had many glitches with my iOS 13. In fact, the only glitch that, that, that can really come to mind and that I can think about right now is this glitch where like I'll open up a WhatsApp message that somebody just sent to me and then when I want to reply to it without actually opening the messenger or the app, uh, I just want to respond to it from the notification center. I swipe down on it, uh, I press uh, view message and then I start to type a reply. But when that same person who I'm trying to reply to sends me a message while I'm typing my response to them and then send off the message, it creates this glitch where like the phone stops as in it freezes um, and then like everything on the screen freezes the power button doesn't work nor does the home button and then I have to wait a few seconds for the phone to just restart uh, automatically I haven't really experienced that in recent times but that was definitely something that I've been that I was experiencing like the months uh, the months post getting the update but you now in recent times I think that they pushed a update that fixed that whole glitchiness with certain apps and uh, yeah since then I've known that they've been putting out many versions of iOS 13 updates like I think currently the latest update is iOS 13.4.1 and that's what I'm running right now on my iPhone 8 plus and I have to say I haven't experienced many glitches with iOS 13 on my iPhone 8 plus so yeah in my experience of using iOS 13, Series Suggestions has been a really good tool to have. Uh, there are many times where I forget to set my alarm or something and then the Series Suggestions will, will pop up like, right before I go to bed at the time that I usually go to bed and then they'll tell me to set the alarm for 6am or whatever and yeah, it's really helpful when I forget to set something or make a note or something like that, you know. Um, and then another feature of iOS 13 is the optimized battery charging. That's I really really done the feature before the optimized battery charging uh, update was pushed I actually my battery health was draining like it was just going down like the stock market right now and um, optimized battery charging that's that 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 saves lives iOS 13 also introduced uh, an emoji stickers and what these are are basically Apple's custom stickers for like an emoji of your face um, I haven't really used animojis that often as I thought I would have. Yeah, they're a cool gimmick, but I don't really use them. Um, and yeah, I think it's 
I think it's it's a cool feature because there are some people who use them but I don't I don't use them. I prefer to use other stickers that I will get from like WhatsApp or something and send them to different people because these are just fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can use any emoji stickers to basically make people know if you want people to know that you have an iPhone because those are only exclusive to iOS. Well, yeah, go ahead, use them. I mean, it's your business, you know, but you know, I don't really use them that often and yeah. And I know this isn't a feature exclusive to iOS 13, well, obviously, but iMessage games, iMessage games, oh gosh, iMessage games are just so fun. The Photos app. The Photos app got a whole new redesign when iOS 13 came out and I have to say it makes using the app so much more intuitive and I really like it. It comes with this new layout where you have photos by day, photos by month, photos by year, and I think uh, photos by location. I like it. I really like it. I think it's really good. To this day, it's still a really good feature. Uh, I use it oftentimes just because I like how it zooms out and zooms in when I like the transition effects between the four, between the different, uh, so you have days, months, years. I like, I like it. I like it. I like it. The new keyboard, swipe to type on the new stock uh, iOS keyboard, that's a really useful feature and I'm, it's surprisingly really good. It's actually probably on, just on par with Gboard um, and I think it's really, really impressive. Uh, these are the features that I use often um, and there's also this cool looking nifty thing that uh, iOS 13 introduced. It's actually a pretty major thing. Uh, the volume rocker. So previously, the, when you turn up the volume or turn it down on iOS 12 and before, uh, there would just be this big intrusion in the middle of the screen that would basically get annoying when you're watching a video or something and then it's blocking what's in the screen and what's on the display so you can't even really see it every time you want to just adjust the volume. But iOS 13 introduced volume controls at the side. So now when you turn up the volume or turn it down, it will just slide out from the side of the screen rather than in the middle of the screen. And it's actually really cool. And it's way sleeker. I think the design is way better than this big intrusion, this big square in the middle of your screen, just blocking whatever it is that you're watching, or, you know? So I think Apple did a really good job with that. It's definitely one of the best features of iOS 13 so far. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to... Oh, wait, sorry. How could I forget? I didn't actually... iOS 13 introduced the beloved dark mode. I don't even have to say much about dark mode. Everybody knows what dark mode is like. Dark mode is absolutely amazing. At night time, Boy, at night time, Mr. We, that went before that, before uh, the iOS 13 update, which introduced dark mode. I'm telling you that white light in my face at night time. All the time I had to turn on night shift because it was just so bright in my face. Even when you turn down the brightness on your phone, you can't just lay down in the dark and not have that light shining back on your face. It was so annoying at one point. But then iOS 13 came to the rescue, introduced dark mode. And I have to say that mode is definitely my favorite feature of iOS 13, undoubtedly. I'm sure that I share the same sentiment with everybody else. Dark mode was a really, really good step in the right direction. Thank you, Apple. Thank you. But as I like to do, I like to not only get my opinion on something, but someone else's opinion on something to share with you guys who watch this video. So... Just like that, I got an interview with one of my friends, one of my closest friends, who uses iOS 13. Um, she's been an iOS user for like years before me, so I'm sure that you guys will value her opinion. She's not really too techy, but you know. She's been an iOS user long before me, like years before me, so I'm sure that she has some good things to say. And just like that, let's take a look at what she had to say. Okay, so, um, Alicia, bro, can you just wait now? Okay, so we're here with Alicia. Um, Alicia, can you just tell me how has your experience been with I'm using so iOS 13 since you get the update and what features you like so much about it? Okay, <laughs> okay hi everyone. 
I think obviously everyone likes dark mode because mm -hmm. more often lately I've been on my phone a lot during the nights I wonder why but yeah I've been on my phone a lot so during the night it just really helps like because I have such my eyes get irritated very easily so it's dark mode is just good it eases everything off my eyes and I can stay up as late as I want uh, obviously there aren't a lot of glitches because I've been on my phone so often doing a lot of stuff have a lot of apps open and it's not like you know my phone isn't slow still and my screen time is like which one now iPhone success uh -huh. my screen time is like <laughs> let me check it's like five hours my screen time is like five that even, hours. That even. yes it's worse Oh, and my battery health is still so high. It's a one Because of the battery optimized charging that iOS 13 introduced. Well, okay, Alicia. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Later. Bye. Yeah. Bye. No. Bye. Yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> yep, and that's what she has to say. So let me just give you a general consensus of what I've been saying. Uh, I have to say, iOS 13, six months later, it's a really, really good uh, update. I really hope that um, iOS 14 that's coming out in a couple months will fix some of the issues that we've been talking about as iOS users. And one of my main complaints about iOS in general is that when somebody calls the phone, it's unlike Android where you can swipe up to dismiss the call or just make it keep ringing off so it won't have to answer it and then just continue with what you were doing before on iOS you, it takes up the whole screen pauses whatever you're doing and there's you can't press the home button to like leave it and let it continue ringing off no you have to answer it or decline it or just wait for it to ring off the whole time you can't swipe up and make it go on and off and continue doing your thing you have to just wait for it to ring off and then go back to doing your thing. So I really hope that iOS 14 fixes that because it's so annoying to me. But anyways, yeah, that's my major pet peeve about iOS right now. Otherwise, it's a really good operating system. Um, I have to say iOS 13 was a really, really major update. And I hope that Apple will continue on that trend of major updates and, you know, innovation. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it you guys can comment down below what your favorite feature of ios 13 is and or any real feature of ios in general and yeah let me know i'll respond to the comments always if you like this video give it a thumbs up um and remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from me in the future please support the channel and I appreciate every one of you who support this video. Give it a like if you liked it. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. And yeah, I know I've worn like three different shirts in this video. Just, just try to look past it. I, I filmed this in like three days.